Good day and happy Sunday, awesome folks. It is Sizz Awesome here bringing you Prepare for Trouble episode 15. Absolute madness. How the time flies. I hope you've all in, uh, th- those of you that have been following the series have really enjoyed it. And if you've just dropped in now, I hope this is a great first episode for you. We are bringing something a little bit different today. It's kind of an amalgamation of two teams. Uh, our most recent team, uh, featuring the Galley, the Bro for Show, the Slow Bro, and the Toga Kiss with the Heel Bell. And also a p- sort of partly uh, our Mono Monday team uh, with the normal type Mono. Uh, we have the Slacking and the Ordinal combination with the Skill Swap. But this time we're bringing Klefki in. The plan is to try and Skill Swap Prankster onto Ordinal and then switch Slacking in, who can take most hits fairly well. Then Skill Swap, Prankster Skill Swap, uh, Truin off of him. And give him obviously a different bit. Well, well. Uh, then Ordino would have uh, Truant, then we would swap Truant onto one of our opponents. That's the plan anyway. Um, obviously, depending on what our opponent is bringing, it depends what the fourth Pokemon will be. Uh, we might decide to bring more than one of either Gallade, Togekiss, or Slowbro, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, that's the plan. Bring one of those three to back up the slacking Ordino and Klefki leads. Uh, well, the setup sort of team. Uh, depends on the situation. So let's hit that challenge button and see how it works out for us, because I am really psyched to try it out. I think this is going to be fun. I think it, it, ooh, saying that though, some of the crazy tactics we come up against, <laughs> especially on rating battles, let me tell you guys, it's hard to pull off strategies like this, but if we can make it work... Okay, we've got a Japanese person from Fukuoka. I feel like I shouldn't be able to say that at this time of the day. <laughs> okay, here comes the Mega Kangaskhan. That could actually be really helpful for us. That could be so helpful. Imagine getting parental bond on a slacking. Please. Please. Of the Villion, the demon Pokemon 666. Uh, the awesome dog Arcanine. That pr- that priority flying type move, man. Ugh, Talonflame. We've got Doom Bunny. Azumarill is coming, guys. Lots of priority on this team. Not enjoying that at all. And, of course, Prankster Whimsicott. Priority all over the place, except with the, the Villion, I believe. Okay, so we're going to open up with Klefki and Ordino. I think that's our best open. We're going to throw Slacking in there as well. And do you know what's really great for taking care of Mega Kanga? Do you know what's really awesome, guys? Delayed. But bro, for show, for that Talonflame, though. And he can deal with the Zoomeril fairly well. Yeah, yeah, bro, for show. Gary can stay out of this one. Gary can stay out of this one. I'm confident we can take care of Mega Kanga. <coughs> sort of confident <laughs> that we can <coughs> take care of Mega Kanga <laughs> without Galade's help this time. We can do it! Bite its flipping head off! Not literally. Okay, so guy with the funky winter outfit is issuing a challenge. Right, let's see how this, this open looks for us, shall we? Okay, we've got the Arcanine and of course that Prankster. That means that we're going to get Prankster status. I'm not happy about this, guys, because I really, really, super duper wanted to get the safeguard up to protect to protect us from status if that was going to be an issue. Let's try it anyway, just because you never know. And besides, we don't want both of our Pokemon to get put to sleep anyway. Um, all I know is going to go for a yawn. We are actually going to yawn the Prankster. That's what we're going to do. Force the switch. Okay, we get the safeguard off first. So they're not going for a status move. In comes the Flare Blitz, can we take it? Oh no, we can't! Wow! How unfortunate. That is really, really unfortunate. Okay, so this should be nice. A nice way to force that Whimsicott out. Trick Room! Well, that benefits us, surely. Surely that benefits us. It must be. I mean, surely her Pokemon, his Pokemon, sorry, <laughs> aren't slower than ours. Look at Slacking. Send it out straight into that sleeping position. He loves it. Okay, ladies and gents, we're going to go for... We're going to go for the Body Slam. No, we're not. We're going to go for the Gunk Shot. No, we're not. We are going to go for the Body Slam onto Arcanine. And then with Ordino, it's time to skill swap onto whatever comes in when he switches out this Whimsicott. That Whimsicott is not being switched out. Okay, never mind. Never mind. 
I really anticipated that to be switched out. Because it's going to sleep now. Unless you've got a berry to cure that, do you have the Chesto berry? Close combat. Okay, unfortunate. Most unfortunate. That's a real shame. Now let's see if we can get the paralysis with this body slam. That would be wonderful. Come on, paralysis. Or just take it straight out. Even better. Fantastic. That's what we like. Excuse my gulp and swallow in there, guys. Just drinking some coffee. Another leech seed. Wow. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm an idiot. He's asleep. That was the leech seed animation. You're getting health back. Man, what is wrong with me today? I think I'm coming down with a little something, to be honest, guys. I'm a little teeny bit ill. So, now, we're going to go for the slack off with slacking. Bear with me here. We're going to prankster skill swap onto slacking as well. Hopefully that will negate Truant. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless I'm a noob here. Okay, so Ordino gets that prankster skill swap off. And that's nice. So let's see if we can get... No! No! The Azumarill is using Belly Drum. We're in trouble now, guys. We are in serious trouble. Now... <laughs> Anybody who has been a long time viewer, well I say long time, anyone who has watched our videos since the beginning will know just how powerful Belly Drum Azumarill is. It is unreal. Yeah, we don't get a truant turn. Not too bad at all. I like that. I like that a great deal. It's a shame we don't still have Prankster. That is a real shame because we could have skill swapped onto the Azumarill, get rid of its huge power, and give it truant. That would have been great. What we're going to do, we're going to have to go for the Sucker Punch onto the Azumarill. It's not very effective, but we will attack it first. We will not prioritize this, but we can attack it first. Um, let's go for the Yawn onto the Azumarill. No, let's not go for the Yawn. Let's go for the Skill Swap onto the Azumarill. That seems like the best play with order now. Okay, here comes that Sucker Punch. It's not going to do that much. Should take about a yeah, quarter. Yeah, about a quarter health. Nearly a quarter health. Oh, sorry guys, I have just wobbled my camera. I apologise. There we go, that should be better. And down goes Slacky. That is really unfortunate. Jeez. But he did good work, he took out Arcanine. Weakened Azumarill. Took some pressure off of Ordino for a while. But Ordino is going to be hit next. But we are going to get that skill swap off, right? That should happen now. Slowbro should be able to take a hit from this Azumarill, or two. Maybe get the burn off with Scald? Let's see how it goes. Let's see here. Did we swap abilities? I'm sure we swapped abilities. Do you know, I, I need to stop looking away from the gosh darn screen. <laughs> I really need to stop doing that, guys. That is just so silly of me. Alright, so, with Slowbro, we are going to go for, we're going to go for the Flamethrower onto the Whimsicott, so we need rid of that thing, and we are going to be really cheap and yawn the Azumarill. Okay, Slowbro is going to be hitting that Flamethrower, so the Azumarill is not even going for a priority move, wow! Wow, even Bro for Show couldn't take that plus six player up. Good game. Definitely good game. I don't think there's much we can do now. I really don't see what else we can do against our opponent now. They have two really healthy, really powerful Pokemon. Well, Azumarill will take some damage. And that Whimsicott is not going to be damaged for much longer. This is really unfortunate. And now they can get the score off on us as well. And that means, ladies and gents, that Ordinal will be asleep. So the only chance we have is to get a Dazzling Gleam off, hopefully, somehow, and crit them both, take them out, and then try and take out the last Pokemon. But that's not going to happen, because the Aqua Jet is just going to destroy. So we are, ironically, taken out by one of our favourite strategies and favourite Pokemon, Belly Jet Azumarill. Most unfortunate. But we are still one win ahead of our losses. And that's 15 wins, 14 losses. Not too bad. Well, it is kind of bad. But compared to how we were doing, say, this time last week, it's not too bad. Okay, so we do not want to save that as the last battle video. Yes, the battle will not be saved. Smashing, smashing, take some time, blah, blah, blah. Take all the time in the world. Yes, I would love to continue battling, please, and thank you. 
Battle box, please. Obviously. Why'd you even ask? You should know by now, DS. We know each other. We've been bros for a while. Okay, our rating is 15.33, so it's not the worst it's been. 15 wins, 14 losses. We can claw this back, Bill. I'm feeling 16 wins, 14 losses. Wow, what a cool name, Edagawa. It's a pretty funky name. Once again, making me feel like I've got a boring ass name. And once again, somebody only bringing five Pokemon. Very strange. Very, very strange. Right, uh, now you might call me crazy, you might think that it's a really, really stupid thing to do. But I am going to go with the same leads. I am going to go with the same leads, guys. I'm going to go with Clefki. I'm going to go with Order now. Then Slacking. Who is going to fill that last spot? You probably think Bro for Show is, is the best bet with all those fire types in there and steel type moves as well, which we resisted. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be the Bro for Show once again, guys. So the same team come into both battles. Sorry if that's a little boring for you all, but I really think we can pull this strategy off. I believe. I believe in the power of the skill swap. Now, I truly do think the skill swap can be stupidly useful if you can find a really good way to pull it off. And I think that this combo could be really good if we get the time to use it. Kangaskhan and Blaziken. Oh my dear lord. So let's not bother with safeguard, let's go straight for a reflect. Then... Oh, which one's going to be the Mega? It's got to be Kanga, surely. Let's go for the skill swap on Kanga, hope he Mega evolves. Yikes. <laughs> This is some scary stuff right now, guys. I have no idea. Yeah, it's the Mega Kanga. That's great. That's so good right now. We should be just fine for a couple of turns, I think. That Flare Blitz onto Klefki, though. That's not going to be fun for anyone. You can take it, buddy. Yeah, taking it fairly well. That Citrus Berry is going to prop now. I mean prop. So we should be at just above half health. Half health. Uh, possibly just enough to take another Flare Blitz, maybe. The return incoming, but on who? Yeah, we can take two returns. All those bulky. Then we're going to get that skill swap. Nice. Unfortunately, Klutz on Mega Kangaskhan won't revert it back to its uh, normal form. It won't stop it from being able to use its Mega Stone. But it doesn't have its ability anymore. Laser can speed boost, though. Oh, dear. Okay, so what we want to do now, my friends, is we want to swap out Klefki for Slacking. Then we're going to use Skill Swap on to the Slacking. Parental Bond Slacking, guys. Come on! Scary, right? This could happen. This could totally happen right now. Flare Blitz incoming. Okay, come on, Slacking. Take it like a pro. Take it like a pro, buddy. Come on. Take that like an absolute champ. No burn! Not bad. Outrage onto who, though? Not the Klefki, because that would be insane. Yeah, onto where the Klefki was. How surprising. Very strange indeed. Would not have expected that one bit. Wow. Okay, we have a parental bond slacking, guys. I'm excited. Let's make this happen. Let's make it work. Oh, the question is, what do we go for? I think Sucker Punch could be good. No, let's go for a double body slam, double chance of paralysis, and let's do it on Mega Kanga. That thing needs to go. Even without its ability, that thing needs to go. Ordino can use Wish, try and keep itself around for a little longer. I think that's a good idea. High jump kick. Yes! That miss matters. That was really, really important. We got some hacks help there. We definitely got some hacks help. But still, you know, it is part of battling. Everybody's got to appreciate that. And we take the Mega Kanga down with its own ability. This is so, this is so satisfying, guys. I don't know if you've ever done anything like this, but that is so ridiculously satisfying to take Mega Kanga down with its own ability. Amazing. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, do you know, do you see? When you can pull off this ability, sorry, this ability, this tactic, the skill swap tactics in doubles, it can work so well. Let's hope it keeps working well. <laughs> right, we're going to go for... We're going to go for the Gunk Shot onto the Sylveon. And we're going to go for... Skill Swap... Ooh, onto... 
also onto the Sylveon to stop its warning capabilities. Flare Blitz, who are you going to hit? Ordino, Ordino can take this. Ordino can take this hit. Doing great, buddy. Not bad at all. Blaziken's going to knock itself out with the recoil. Or not. Never mind. Shut my mouth. <laughs> and Sylveon goes down. No need for that second parental bond attack. Nice. It's a shame that when you knock out your opponent's Pokemon, and you still have, you know, you've only used one of your two parental bond attacks, it's a shame that you don't use the second one on the other Pokemon on your opponent's side of the field. That would be awesome, but that would be ridiculously OP. So now Blaziken is truant, guys. Not bad. Blaziken now, instead of having speed boost, can only attack once every two turns. That is a crippled Blaziken right there, guys. And here's Moile. Wow, let's give Moile speed boost. Let's give Moile speed boost. And let's give... Yeah, let's give Ordino huge power. Why not? Okay, so Slacking is going to go for... Going to go for Body Slams onto the Moile. Ordino. Now is Ordino going to go for the Skill Swap? No, Ordino is going to go for the Yaw. That seems like a plan. Ordino is going to go for the Yaw. Yeah, Blaziken's absolutely useless instead. Slaking is going to... Slacking, sorry. It's going to outspeed. Going to get those two Body Slams off. It won't KO. Not at all, but we've got two chances for Paralysis here. It doesn't work in our favour, but that's not too bad. Ordino is going to get the Yawn off, so... <laughs> Moile's going to be asleep on the next turn anyway. Play rough. That's going to go onto the Slack... Not the Slacking! Okay. Now our Reflect has finally wore off. That means we are extremely susceptible to these powerful attacks from these guys. Okay, what we're going to do... We're going to go for the Sucker Punch onto the Moile. And we're going to go for... The Dazzling Gleam with Ordino. Let's do this, guys. The match was forfeited. I think our opponent understood that. Uh, I don't think they knew we had Sucker Punch, but I think they understood that with the parental bond slacking on the field, uh, and with your fast special sweeper crippled with Truant, yeah, there was pretty much 0.1% chance of him even remotely uh, mounting any kind of comeback. I would have said. That went ridiculously well. That was one of my favourite battles of all time in my entire, like, 15, 16 years of Pokemon. Wow. <laughs> well, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video uh, as much as I enjoyed making it, because that was fantastic. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below and let me know if you did or didn't enjoy and why, please and thank you. Have a sizz awesome day and weekend and life and come back tomorrow for even more videos. Actually, come back later today, because we're going to have Omicron up and maybe some poker battle stuff. Oh yeah. Have a sizz awesome day. Much love, peace out, and bye 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 bye.